Hi there, this is Amy. Thanks for stopping by. Tonight I'm going to be demonstrating how I add uh, petals, or not petals, leaves to my uh, wine glasses that I've painted where you look on the inside of the flower and you're doing like reverse painting. Now these are glasses that I've actually done videos on and just showed you simple quick glasses to make. Uh, that would be easy for just about anybody to do. So now I'm going to go back in and add some petals to each one of the glasses. Or not petals, I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep saying that. Actual leaves. Um, now I prefer to use Thicket, which is a darker green, and a lighter green called uh, Moss Green. I like the two of those as a combination in my leaf colors. I do typically use my version of doing the one stroke. It's not a complete one stroke, I don't know, technique. It's that with my little twist to it. I think after you paint for a while you tend to add your own twist to things and you know that's that's great. It kind of makes it your own. Now when I was actually in a class learning the one stroke or becoming certified to teach it, they typically would use the thicket and the sunflower yellow. I, for some reason, just have gravitated towards these two colors, but it's really up to you. You know, whatever type of uh, leaf you want to do or colors you want to make, you know, that's, that's really your preference. Because I used to actually do white with green and like that too until I went to the yellow and now I'm with the uh, with the moss green. Now on this glass I'm just going to do just a real easy just quick little leaf pattern just kind of like doing a one stroke leaf but and for some reason it's looking quite transparent tonight not sure why. And now I'm just going to keep going around the glass until I get it the way I want it. Now I like to keep loading my brush. I know that you don't have to keep doing that. And then I don't like when it gets too full, but I try to keep plenty of paint in it because I really like more of an opaque look. And just keep in mind just some basic stuff when you're painting glass. Make sure you clean your glass before you paint on it. Uh, you can you know, hand wash it just or just use denatured rubbing alcohol clean the outside of it. Just mainly get dirt and, and oil off of your glassware before you start painting on it. That will allow it to adhere better to your your glass. And I know a lot of people will ask, you know, is this permanent? Well, you know, you got to keep in mind people, this is hand painted glassware. And it really should be treated as such, meaning more along the lines of how you would treat fine china and not be rough with it. Be careful you know, as far as if you're putting it in the dishwasher, don't place it on the bottom of the dishwasher. Your paint's going to melt off. There's, there's no question about that. Your paint will melt off. And then you're going to have, have a glass that has uh, part of the paint missing or maybe all the paint missing. Now with something like this, if you want to come back over it and add more leaves to it you can. I'm going to leave it like this. You can come back in and maybe do a um, add more paint to this. Maybe do some kind of a dotted design or even continue down the stem. For the purpose of this video though I'm just doing the leaves and so you can see just how quickly how quickly that went. Um, on this this style of glass I'm going to just use the same colors tonight for my leaves. But the style may change as far as what style of leaf I'm doing. And one thing nice about the glassware, I mean you can turn it 
you can actually start clear back down in here if you want where the green started and pull your leaves up through the pattern or like I said on the other one if you want to go back in and do something different with the bottom around the the base of the ball of the glass you know you can do that too And I'm just going to just continue around the glass doing these bigger leaves. And I kind of overlap them. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I get into the, the viewing part here. And I keep slipping away. I'm noticing that. And like I've always said about painted glassware, if you're not happy with what you're doing, wash it off, start again. That's the one thing neat. Or, next time you paint, paint one, do something different with it. Don't do the same thing if you don't like how it turned out. It's kind of one of those things where you learn. You learn as you go. But I do have to say is if you put the paint on thicker, the design will be more durable. So me painting these flower or this there we go again, the leaves over this painted area on the ball of the glass, that part of the paint will be much more durable than where you're seeing it right here. You know, in, in between the petals, be much more durable. The, the problem being though is that you just have to be careful how much paint you're putting on if you're just doing a solid painting and trying to make it thick because the problem that you'll have if it's on too thick it will bubble. The paint will bubble when you have it in the oven. So there you go. And like I said, you know, you can add more. You can come up further. It's really just a matter of, of your choice. And I know I keep saying that, but I, do, I truly do mean that. Um, I just, I don't, I'm not really stuck in. You have to do, do it a certain way. And again, with this stem, I would probably go around this and, um, you know, just maybe I have different brushes that I would use for this because they actually cover better. But you can go through and just kind of go around the, the stem and then maybe come back through with either lining it or dotting it just to give it some style or go all the way down, add some leaves at the base of the, of the glass. You can do that also. Alright, so I'm just going to do one of each each one for tonight so the video is not too awful long. Don't want to don't want to bore you too much. Another thing too, another question I get a lot is uh, baking. You know, you really need to pay attention to the manufacturer's uh, information when you're doing glass painting. Now, I like to use folk art enamels. I mean, just, that's just my preference. And uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of different paints out there on the market that you can use. It just happens to be my favorite for my style of painting. Now, if you want more of a, and I know some people can use this paint that with a more opaque look too, but I've never been able to master it, and that's the Peebo paint. I think it has more of a tendency to be more like um, stained glass. And then you have your Liquitex glossies. I've tried those too. And those are okay, but still for my style of painting, I prefer the folk art enamels. I mean, I use the folk art enamels on everything and not just glass. I've I've done murals on walls with it. 
panel wood with it. You know, all the painting I do on my hangers. It's with the same paint. I just want to give you a look at that. And you know, to get maybe a bigger leaf, use a bigger brush. I'm just using one of my nicer, newer brushes for this uh, video. You know, one thing I miss, because I used to do painted glass all the time, right now I'm just pretty much just doing videos with it, is just sitting down and coming up with a different design. And I see a lot of people that do painted glass now have picked up on designs that I used to do a long time ago that are still popular, which is this kind, matter of fact. I've been doing this for years. Okay, so there you go. I mean, you can come back through, maybe add some more of the, just the real easy one stroke uh, little leaves if you want to come more up on the flower itself. I'm trying to keep an eye to make sure I'm not blocking this too much. I hope you can see. Apologize if I keep moving it where you're not able to see it. I don't know what my deal is with that tonight. But like I said, you just do this. I just like random stuff. I really, really, really do. I'm not going to tell you you have to do something a certain way. Do it how you want to do it. Hey, if you're happy with it, honestly, that's what matters the whole the whole thing if you're happy with what you're doing a design you know how you're doing a design how it comes out that's really all that matters and I know occasionally I have people that'll say you know make comments on my videos you know I'm trying to do simple stuff so that a lot of you can maybe get together with your friends and do it not really detailed stuff. Um, this right here, I'm not too crazy with how that ended. Oops. It helps too if you have the paintbrush going the right direction. You can keep playing with it if you want. Make it thicker. And there you go. Easy peasy. So just to give you another look, make sure I didn't cover anything up too much. And you have like the inside of the glass. Sorry if you can't see that with the lighting. It's kind of hard. And just remember, when you're doing these type of glasses, you do have to think in reverse. I mean, you're, you're putting on what you would typically see first. You're putting on, you know, make sure I say this right, like the inside of a flower. You're going to do, if you're going to do dots, you're going to do those first. And you're going to let those dry. If you're going to do, like, stamen, you're going to put that in first, let it dry then pounce green around. Now on these, I didn't put any of that kind of stuff on them, but you know, I, I typically in the past have, have done that. And you know, like on this glass like this, you can put the petals together closer. Um, this is probably one of my original funky flower ones that I came up with. Anyhow, there are the leaves. 
All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions, and thanks again for stopping by.